Today is, ah, how'd that month get here? Ah, there we go. Let's go back to the correct month. There we go. Today is the seventh. And you know how awesome a day I'm having? This is my housemate's bathroom. Um, one of the faucet taps was rusted, so I had a plumber come by and he fixed it. And somehow lost the other handle. We don't know where it went. It's just gone. So my housemate doesn't have a way of turning on hot water now, instead of it being the cold water that was broken. Good job! Hello once more. You will notice lack of hat. That's because, well, it's kind of gray outside. It actually just finished storming a whole bunch here today. And it was a cold front, which means that the temperature outside is a nice and delightful 16 degrees. Uh, that's... I don't remember what that is in Fahrenheit. I'm really bad at certain conversions, and that's one of them. So let's see. 15 degrees would be... 27 plus 32, that would be 59. So 16 must be about 61. Sure, we'll go with that. This day has been a waste of a day. Ah. And my shoe is... No, it's not coming undone, it's just very loose. Anyway, um, so, yeah, plumber incident. So they were supposed to arrive at 10 a.m. They were running very late um, and ended up arriving closer to 11. They, this was a couple of really minor tasks, like so minor that I was expecting minimum payment for plumbing services because they have a minimum of an hour. And, um, two tasks. It was just replacing my water filter, which, uh, the whole house water filter, which I've been very delinquent on. And also my housemate's bathroom, the water faucets were kind of broken. Or one of them was, it was kind of rusted. Um, hold on a moment, I'm gonna tie my shoe again. And back once more. So, um... Yeah, so, yeah, basically the um, cold, or the warm water tap, no, it was the cold water tap, that's right. Uh, the cold water tap had basically appeared like it had rusted shut completely, and what the plumber said, what happened was that the cartridge that was inside of the handle disintegrated due to the O-rings on it failing, and... Basically, it wasn't very far from just breaking off entirely, and the one water tap was similarly broken. So, the screws holding things in were rusted, and actually snapped off when they undid it. Which is kind of why I didn't do it myself, because, yeah, that was a fairly likely thing to have happen. But... Um... So he had run off to go to a hardware store in order to pick up screws. <sighs> At some point during that process, one of the uh, faucet handles went missing. We don't know what happened to it. My thought was that he actually took it with him when he was trying to get the cartridge out of the handle. It's not in my house, and as far as I can tell, it's not anywhere, and that means I'm missing a handle. So my housemate went from, hey, look, the cold water tap isn't working properly, to, hey, look, you can't use the hot water tap. That's not great, and needless to say, trying to search my house for these things took a very long time, and yeah. What was supposed to be just from 10 a.m. to probably about 10.30, maybe as late as 11, ended up being me waiting around not being able to do anything from 10 a.m. to ah, 14, 14.30. And then an hour and a half later, I had scheduled a online gaming night with friends, So, which also didn't end up happening because I was so brain muddled that, well, I ended up getting absolutely nothing done today. 
Um, there is a chance that this vlog is actually going to be uploaded before the previous one goes live. Um, if that is the case, sorry about it. Um, need to get approval for some things on the previous video, and it's a hell of a lot more complicated than any of these walking vlogs are. So, yeah. Um, any suggestions for vlogging ideas? Because... I seem to be running out of them really quickly. Also, I love this weather. It's very lightly sprinkling. Um, I don't have to worry about my phone. It is actually heavily water resistant to the point where I could probably go swimming with it without any problems. But it's supposed to be practically, um, practically but not actually waterproof. So this phone actually operates in rain. I can take it in the shower with me if I really wanted to. So, that part's nice. <sighs> and, yeah, light sprinkles, obviously not going to cause problems. This is basically what the weather was like in Ireland when I was visiting. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the overcast, slightly rainy look. Hmm... I don't even know, well, I know why I'm taking a walk, because I desperately needed to get out of the house. I haven't been out of the house in, well, technically I was out of the house yesterday for going out to eat and board gaming, but mostly just not out of the house. Um, and I think that's been affecting my mood. I've been feeling significantly more depressed today compared to previous days, where I even had a good day recently. Probably due to lack of moving around, and lack of anything to do, lack of any progress on anything that I need to make progress on. You know, the usual stuff. Um, uh, let's see, what else? Um, tomorrow is role-playing. I'm running game. Uh, I should probably figure out what in the world's, uh, the plans are for the game. I know generally what the adventuring parties up to, but it's been several weeks since we last played, so that means massive recap. And because we're playing in person, that means we get started even slower, and yeah. Uh, I don't like how our in-person role-playing adventures are going. Uh, so, for reference, and I've mentioned this before, but I usually play... Every, I, there's usually... An adventure every week, but we alternate weeks as to who's running versus, or alternating weeks depending on who's running. So like, for instance, I'm running this week, then one of my friends is running next week, then I'd run the week after, and so on. With cancellations happening whenever at least two players or the GM is not available. So our group is a group of six six? Yeah, six players plus one GM. Very large group, but in general we can handle it whenever one player is out. If two players are out or the GM is out, obviously we can't handle it very well, so we don't, and we usually cancel. And the fact that I'm playing with a bunch of adults means that it's not as easy to schedule these things compared to college years, where Hey, look, you're bored. Do you want to play something? Sure. Okay. <sighs> but the problem comes up is the fact that we're playing at night. And most of the players work. So... We have to start at a certain time. That time is frequently not paid attention to or... Um, that's not the right thing to say. Uh, sometimes it's, hey, look, there's a kid that's currently out and about that needs to be attended to by their parents, and one of their parents is a player. Or, hey, they got off of work really late, and they need to eat something, and stuff like that. But what it boils down to is that we don't really have all that much time for actual role-playing. So our Thursday nights... We are scheduled to start at 19, scheduled to stop at 21.30.
So we're scheduled for two and a half hours, but we don't end up playing for two and a half hours. We usually end up playing for more like an hour to an hour and a half. And that's a problem. I don't like that. It's not enough time to actually roleplay. Also, my group's too large, so when we are roleplaying, a lot of people are just waiting around for their scene or just being quiet in general. It, it's not great. My weekend group, which is just through uh, Discord text chat, that's only three players, and we're scheduled for four hours, and we actually end up playing more like three and a half. Three to three and a half, and that's much better time-wise. Even though I know my partner would definitely prefer it to be forever. Uh, so yeah. I don't know what to do when it comes to role-playing situation, but we're already talking about changing some things up anyway. What was that? I'm wearing headphones, so it wasn't quite as easy for me to tell what that was. Maybe I'll be able to tell when I'm watching the recording. Anyway, um, yeah, we're already talking about changing some things up because, well, when I move away from the United States, I won't be able to roleplay on a weekday night. Roleplaying would start in my time zone at uh, 1 a.m., start at 1 a.m. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. So, we're already talking about needing to switch over to weekends. But now that means my weekends are going to start getting very, very crowded very, very fast. And, I don't know. Being an adult's annoying. It's a good thing I don't pay attention to most of the other adult things, because... Why should I give up having fun just because my age counter is ticked over by above a certain number? That doesn't make any sense. That's foolish. Age is just a label, after all. Maybe I need a label series video on age, although I'm not old enough to really be able to say too much about it. Well, I am old enough to already start hitting age discrimination in the IT industry, so that's always fun. <sighs> Um, what else? Huh, that's weird. I think those trees have had a problem. Hold on a moment. Plant life? No plant life. And that one looks like it's been damaged. See? Also, fun fact, my camera changes the audio volume based off of Zoom. <sighs> Pausing for a moment. Sorry. Had to let some people pass. They had to very cute. I think they're golden retrievers. I'm not so great on dog breeds, but it's kind of what they looked like. Might have been golden labs or something. I don't know. I like dogs. Just, I've only had a couple of dogs in my life. In fact, actually, there's very few pets that I don't like. Uh, probably the ones that you can't literally pet, so most fish. Never had a bird. My grandfather had a bird, but that bird is... Mm, that bird was mean and nasty to people and liked to draw blood. No idea what happened to the bird. I think it might have broken out or it might have broken out. I'm not sure which. Uh, let's see. I've never had any rodent-like pets because my mom couldn't stand them. And they couldn't stand my mom, so the feeling was mutual. Only, I have personally only ever had cats. And um, my mom's had two dogs within my memory and three dogs total within my life. Uh, two huskies and a mutt. Yeah, kind of running out of things to say. I guess I'll go ahead and stop this for now. And go on my walk, I guess. It's weird.
things are actually open, yet I'm still walking in the same na residential neighborhood I usually do. Anyway, bye for now. All right, two things. First off, why does every apartment complex in the city, all the ones that have been built recently, look identical? They're not even owned by the same company. They all look ugly. Also, second, city planners, stop doing that. That's right, I'm at the intersection of Schrader and Schrader. No, bad city planners. No soup for you. Objective complete. I have strawberry frozen custard. Mm. Okay, I'm not going to walk, talk, and eat at the same time. That would be really hard. Be back. That was perfect timing. He's telling me I need to go to sleep. Mm-hmm. Okay, ready for bed? You can see the reflection of my computer right back there. Okay, let's... All right, I need to actually restart for Windows updates. One moment. Are you going to actually let me get up so I can feed you and we can go to bed? Meow. Meow. There wasn't enough kitty time, so you get more kitty. Oh, got a scratch? Meow. Come on. Time to get fed. Yeah, I've got a bunch of junk from the plumber that was here. Oh well, let's get you fed. Mmm, dried cat food. Expensive prescription dried cat food. So yeah, I even have everybody's scoops labeled now. That's missions. This is booze. And this is Zones. That way it's easy to tell them. I mean, I know Isun and Zone have the same size scoop, but it helps when it comes to asking somebody else to feed my kitties. There you go, Zone. I'll be back, kitty cat. And we feed the boo kitty. Stepping over the crap. I'll be cleaning that up tomorrow morning. Oops. Well, you'll have fun finding those later. There you go, boo. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Mm. Actually, it smells like I need to get the cycle on your automated litter box. All right. Last and definitely not least is this soon. can't see him, but he's actually, yep, now you can sort of see him. He's waiting for me. Meow. So I grab his feeder. Place the feeder here. Oops. Hit the button. And food. Close feeder. Then put the scoop back. Meow. Then I enter here and sit down with kid ties. I mean, look how close they are to each other. I assume wanting to hug the camera as usual. See, this is my evening feeding ritual. I make sure I sit down with my kitties. Well, that is when Isun actually wants to say hi. Sometimes he just leaves. Really wish my camera let me zoom out a little more. It also smells at this 
I, I need to do a... Apparently this is a short visit. Um, I need to do a full clean out of litter boxing. Okay, so. You can actually tell from his eyes that Zen's in crazy cat hour mode. Close doors, turn out lights. I'm still here, no worries. So yeah, if I keep the lights on, oh, sorry. If I keep the lights on in my bedroom while I'm preparing to go to bed, things like, you know, um, I should rotate around. There we go. Um, if I keep the lights on in my bedroom while I'm doing things like brushing teeth and getting ready to go to bed, uh, Zone actually will maintain going at extremely high rates of speed for an extended period of time until the lights go out, and then he'll settle down. It is totally based on the lights. I have proven this by having it for hours, and he will be at Neom speeds for hours. <sighs> you know, I probably don't need the air conditioning on. It's actually really nice outside to me. Let's open this window up. This window. There. You can see all of the smudges. This is all from Zone. All from Zone. It's almost as though Zone, that cat right there, likes smudging windows. It's weird. Um... Neither Isin nor Boo have anywhere near as smudged of a window as Zone. And there's a good reason for it, because Zone, Isin's normal, back when I was going to the office, Isin was the one that was usually out during the day when nobody was here. Which means that Zone was doing that constantly. Looking for me, actually. And waiting for me. Um, whenever I would get home from work, I would actually see him at one of the windows, looking out, waiting for me. He's my guardian. At some point, I may actually end up with a um, proper certification-like thing for having an emotional support cat. And Zone is actually my emotional support cat. I mean, Isin can also be my emotional support cat. It's not like... That it's not like Isun doesn't have the correct temperament. It's just that Isun worries about me, but Zone really worries about me. Yeah, I know I'm in darkness. I guess it's just time to wait. Where's my tablet? Well, once I find that, it's time to brush my teeth and go to bed. So uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow, Internet. Bye. Boop.